hello everyone and welcome back to tech cloud solution if you are preparing for the azure administrator associate exam you are in the right place so this is part two of our az 104 exam question review series if you haven't watched the previous parts check out the playlist for complete coverage if you want to download the pdf resources or simulate the exam like microsoft's real test visit our official websites tech cloud solution i will give you in the link in the comment section make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more in-depth exam guides now let's dive into today's question question number 11 you have an azure subscription that contains a policy based virtual network gateway named gw1 and a virtual network named vnet1 you need to ensure that you can configure a point to site connection from an on premises computer to vnet1 which two action should you perform the options are delete gateway1 add a service endpoint to vnet1 reset gateway 1 create a route based virtual network gateway add a connection to gateway 1 add a public ip address space to vnet 1 so the correct answer is you have to delete gateway 1 and create a route based virtual network gateway we need to set up a route based vpn an Azure VNet gateway type cannot be changed from policy based to route based or the other way. The gateway must be deleted and recreated. A process taking around 60 minutes. Question number 12. You have a sync group named sync1 that has a cloud endpoint. The cloud endpoint includes a file named file1.txt. Your on-premises network contains servers that run Windows Server 2016. The servers are configured as shown in the following table. So name is server1, share, share1 and share contents are file1.txt and file2.txt. Also for the server2, share2 we have and file2.txt and file3.txt. You add share1 as an endpoint for sync1. One hour later, you add share2 as an endpoint for sync1. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true. Otherwise, select no. So first one is on the cloud endpoint, file1.txt is overwritten by file1.txt from share1. Second statement is on server 1, file1.txt is overwritten by file1.txt from the cloud endpoint. And the third statement is file1.txt from share 1 replicates to share 2. So the correct options are no, no, and yes. So if you add an Azure file share that is an existing set of files as a cloud endpoint. To a sync group the existing files are merged with any other files that are already on other endpoints in the sync group azure sync uses a simple conflict resolution strategy it will keep both the files by appending the endpoint name to the file name question number 13 you have an azure subscription named subscription 1 that contains an Azure Log Analytics workspace named Workspace 1. You need to view the error from a table named Event. Which query should you run in Workspace 1? So the correct answer is the third one. So the search operators provides a multi-table or multi-column search experience. Question number 14. You have a subscription named subscription one subscription one has one azure virtual machine named vm1 you can't seem to log in to the server what tool should you use to verify if the problem is the network security group 
तो ऑप्शन आर ए अजियोर मोनिटर वी एम मेट्रिक्स बी आई पी फ्लो वेरीफाइड टूल इन अजियोर नेटवर्क वॉचर देन सी अजियोर वर्चुअल नेटवर्क लॉक्स एंड डी अजियोर ट्रैफिक मैनेजर ट्रैफिक व्यू सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी डेट इज आई पी फ्लो वेरीफाइड टूल इन अजियोर नेटवर्क वॉचर सो द आई पी फ्लो वेरीफाइड टूल चेक्स इफ अ पैकेट इज अलाउड और डिनाइड टू और फ्रॉम अ वर्चुअल मशीन द इंफॉर्मेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ डायरेक्शन प्रोटोकॉल लोकल आई पी रिमोट आई पी लोकल पोर्ट एंड अ रिमोट पोर्ट इफ द पैकेट इज डिनाइड बाई अ सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप द नेम ऑफ द रूल डेट डिनाइड द पैकेट इज रिटर्न सो देन वी हैव इन करेक्ट आंसर एज अज योर मोनिटर वी एम मैट्रिक्स सो मैट्रिक्स इज टू मोनिटर यूजेज हिस्ट्री लाइक सी पी यू यूजेज memory users and etc azure virtual network logs so flow logs is a feature of azure network watcher that allows you to log information about ip traffic flowing through an nsg then the last option we have azure traffic manager traffic view so traffic view provides insights of user bases and latency experienced by users question number 15 You have created a custom RBAC role named Custom Role One as below, and assign it to user named User One. What operations can User One perform? So it's a RBAC role created. So you can stop the video and read completely. The options are: create virtual machines, start virtual machines. restart virtual machines create storage accounts monitor virtual machines so the correct answer is start virtual machines restart virtual machines and monitor virtual machines so this custom role can be used for monitoring and restarting virtual machines since allowed actions are start restart and insights question number 16 You have an Azure subscription named Subscription One that contains the virtual machines as shown below. So we have VM One and VM Two under Resource Group RG One and RG Two. The status is stopped. Then we have created below Azure policies. So we have policy definition not allowed resource types as virtual machines and the scope is Resource Group One. Then we have allowed resource types is virtual machines. then resource group 2 then you have created resource logs as shown so we have log 1 and 2 in log 1 read only and it is applied on vm1 whereas log 2 is read only and applied on resource group 2 so can you create a virtual machines in rg2 that is resource group 2 so the correct answer is false so you cannot create a new vm in rg2 because of read only lock on rg2 then we have question number 17 so the question and the scenario is same but here the question it asks for can you start vm1 and the options are true and false so the correct answer is false so you cannot start vm1 because of read only lock on vm1 virtual machine prevents all users from starting or restarting the virtual machines because these operations requires a post request so if you want to practice similar types of questions or quizzes or you want uh, the resources in a pdf format then you can refer our official website status tech cloud solution here you will get the az 900 az 104 or aws pdf and quizzes so i will give you uh, the link of my websites in the comment section you can refer the link and you can check it out after watching this video question number 18 you have the azure virtual machines shown in the following table so we have vm1 2 3 4 and the location are west europe west europe and the north europe you have a recovery services vault that protects vm1 and vm2 you need to protect vm3 and vm4 by using recovery services what should you do first the options are create a new recovery service vault then b create a storage account 
then we have configure the extension for vm3 and vm4 and the last create a new backup policy so the correct answer is create a new recovery services fault so if you have data sources in multiple regions create a recovery services fault for each region then we have incorrect answer as create a storage accounts so azure backup will manage the storage no need to create a storage account then configure the extensions for vm3 and vm4 extensions are not required then create a new backup policy so this is a later step question number 19 you create a recovery service vault backup policy named policy 1 as shown in the following exhibit so policy 1 is created and the details are there the question says the backup that occurs on sunday march 1 will be retained for the options are 30 days 10 weeks 36 months and 10 years so the correct option is 10 years so if you will look at the policy the retention period for the backup that is taken on march 1st is 10 years question number 20 you have an azure subscription that has a recovery service port named vault 1 the subscription contains the virtual machines shown in the following table so we have vm1 as windows server 2012 r2 auto shutdown is off then we have vm2 windows server 2016 auto shutdown is 19 hours then we have vm3 ubuntu server it is off and vm4 windows 10 auto shutdown timing is 19 hours you plan to schedule backups to occur every night at 23 hours which virtual machines can you backup up by using azure backup the options are vm1 and vm3 then we have vm1 vm2 vm3 and vm4 then vm1 and vm2 only and the last vm1 only so the correct answer is vm1 vm2 vm3 and vm4 so azure backup supports backup of 64 bit windows server operating system from windows server 2008 azure backup supports backup of 64 bit windows 10 operating system as well as 64 bit ubuntu server operating system so azure backup supports backup of vm that are shut down or offline so that's it for today's AZ104 exam questions review. I hope these tips and tricks help you feel more confident for your exam. Also, if you want PDF resources, you can refer our official websites and you can take a real exam simulations there. If you found this helpful, like, share and subscribe for more in-depth exam prep and let me know in the comments how your preparation is going. Make sure to watch the next part in our AZ104 playlist for more practice question. See you in the next one.